Yes, I am back at college. This is why I haven't been posting in a while. But today, we have a few topics to discuss. Here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. Okay, so what's been brought to my attention recently is news about Harry Styles, some love interests, people he's potentially dating, and just rumored news about him not wanting to come back into One Direction. And that's what we're starting off with today. So we got this article from Metro, and usually they're a pretty good source. But their headline says, Harry Styles has no desire to get back into One Direction together as he focuses on acting career after Dunkirk's successes. So honestly, I didn't know what to think when I first read this headline, because to me, obviously as a One Direction fan, it's kind of negative. I was kind of hoping that, you know, in a few years, One Direction might come back together, but let's proceed. I love that reassuring statement right in the beginning of the article. Everything will be okay. Um. No, it won't. It says, since stepping away from 1D, Harry has really enjoyed life outside that pop bubble. Acting is something he really enjoys, and he's been working behind the camera on a number of different projects, a source close to the star claimed. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying I doubt what's written in this article, but I hate when sources say, like, a source close to the star claimed. I know due to anonymity reasons, maybe they don't want to actually say the name of the close source, because maybe it's a friend of Harry's and they don't want to be mentioned, but it's like... How valid is this claim if we, like, don't know the person? Maybe I'm overanalyzing it too much, but sometimes I just question, like, what's written in an article when it just says, like, a closed source. It says, speaking to The Sun, oh boy, here we go, <laughs> they added, and right now he has absolutely no desire to get 1D back together. It's a sad day to be a directioner. Okay, wait, hold up. In the beginning of this article, you said, breathe, everything will be okay. You don't have to worry about anything, right? But now it's saying it's a sad day to be a directioner. He's just not wanting to get back into One Direction. Very contradicting. You are playing with my emotions. But then the next paragraph goes into talking about Harry's comedy show, Happy Together, I think, which he is producing. But it actually says in this article that the show's not doing too well, so they didn't pay for more episodes. So who knows if Harry's even going to continue with that. Then it says, meanwhile, the star has been rumored to be dating Japanese American supermodel Kiko Mizura. I am so sorry if I butchered that name, but honestly, kind of don't care because Harry is not with this girl. And then it says, despite being notoriously secretive about his love life. Yeah, Harry is very secretive about his love life, but that doesn't mean he's fucking every girl who he talks to. And to be honest, I'm not even sure if he talked to this person. They're just randomly throwing every model's name out there and putting his name like attached to it. So like, I don't even know how that's even relevant to Harry not wanting to be in One Direction anymore or him working on the show Happy Together. <laughs> Also guys, what's really funny is I saw this post saying like, oh, funny how Harry was just in Japan and he was hanging out with all these men and then we get rumors about Harry linked to other women. It's almost like they do this on purpose. Like Harry is seen with a ton of men just chilling in Japan or wherever he might be and then suddenly we get all these articles about Harry's with this girl, Harry talked to this girl, Harry's fucking this girl. Like, come on. I know I'm not known to Tin Hat, but I'm just talking about the timeline, the order of events and how quick articles are to clean Harry's with a girl right after he's been just chilling with a ton of men in Tokyo. Maybe the two aren't connected, but it just seems to always happen. Okay, so next topic is baby gate updates. Now, I wasn't going to include this in this video because there was a lot of information and I couldn't really dissect all of it properly because a lot of it is still confusing to me. So I thought I would just touch on the main points, like some posts that I found. If I do leave anything out, leave it down below. I did include these at the end of my last video, but I never expressed my opinion about them. So basically, as I noted in my last video, Babygate is ending, it's basically being debunked, and it's basically just like really funny at this point. It says the entire Brianna and Freddie squad are scrubbing their Instagram and Twitter accounts and some opening new ones. And this post also says Tammy unfollowed everyone on Twitter too. So here's the thing, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't really follow Babygate that much anymore, mainly because it's been going on since 2015. A lot of people aren't talking about it anymore. So so I don't see many posts about it. I just haven't been following it. There's been other news. So I'm not really sure why they are like deleting their accounts and just 
on following people? Like, do they know they're wrong? Are they trying to hide something? So I don't really know the actual reason about it. So you can see Tammy's Twitter right here. It says zero following. And these comments say, okay, now I think something's gonna happen. <laughs> So as we know, our fandom really likes to analyze every single thing, which isn't bad. But people are like, oh my god, this means that something's gonna happen. Did something happen? Is something gonna happen? I think just because they might be deleting accounts or unfollowing people, that obviously had to mean something, but I don't know if anything big is going to happen about it. Like, I don't know if Louis's gonna come out and say something. To me, Babygate is a very confusing thing. There's a lot of layers, and I also think it's kind of a personal thing. I'm a fan of Louis Tomlinson, so I'm very uncomfortable saying saying like, Freddie is not Louis' son, you know? And even if he's not Louis' son, don't you think like Louis might be a little bit ashamed about like admitting that Louis hasn't publicly come out and say anything about Freddie? Um, I just think as long as Louis is happy with his son and he's trying to raise it, whatever, then that's completely fine. And like I always say in this fandom, it's okay to speculate and analyze and everything, but I think when it comes to getting really deep and personal into Louis's life and attacking Brianna, attacking Louis, and just being really rude on Twitter. I don't think that really helps anything and I think we should really stray away from doing those things. We should be able to analyze and speculate without hurting other people in the process because that creates drama and then Louis might get involved, he might see it, and that actually might make him upset. So yeah, basically I'm just gonna end this topic by saying it's okay to speculate and analyze, but it's just how we do it. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Just leave all your thoughts about this whole topic below. Now ending this video on a positive note with some Louis Tomlinson news, we recently found out that Louis Tomlinson is a nominee. He did an incredible job on his first year of The X Factor and it says go vote for him with this link. If I remember, I'll try to put this link down below so you can go vote for Louis. He honestly deserves it. Louis works very hard. Even when he's not singing or making music, Louis is a really good judge on The X Factor and I think he's really found his niche with that job. And not only is he good at doing his job, he's just really good at being like a, a nice and good person. A lot of the contestants have said that they really enjoy Louis as a mentor. So that's even more of a reason to vote for Louis Tomlinson because he's just overall a good person and mentor. And also speaking of Louis Tomlinson, we recently got a picture of him and I swear to God, I have that same exact coat. Obviously not the brand because I'm not that rich, but Louis looks so cute in that little coat, like just the little fur. It just really fits his figure and I don't know, he just looks so cute, especially with the little backpack and then like the beanie hat. But um, yeah, this video felt really short, so that probably means I forgot a lot of news because usually my videos are pretty long. Usually there's a ton of news. <laughs> So again, if I missed any news, just leave it down below. But this is all I've gathered for today. So hopefully everything made sense. And like always, I make a new video whenever I want. So like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description. And I will see you guys later. Bye. She makes me, she makes me, she makes me.